What's up, guys? It's your boy Dippin' Sauce, your favorite Dippin' Sauce. You know how it goes. Listen, we're back with another one. Today, we're going to be doing the Stoner 63 loadout, all right? This is have, by far got to be the best LMG in my opinion, all right? So, if you guys aren't already caught up on our dark, uh, Road to Dark Matter series, make sure you guys go and check out our videos. Let me some feedback on those. I'll have the link to those. Um, down inside the description. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the ins and outs of the Stoner 63. Pretty much what attachments I believe you guys are gonna wanna use on this gun, like usual. We're gonna go through some gameplay so you guys can see how this baby is ripping. And of course, towards the end, we're gonna actually do the loadout, all right? So if you guys aren't subbed, press that sub button for your boy, all right? Also, if you guys do like this video, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and leave me some comments down in the comment section below, all right? So let's go ahead and let's get right into it. We got one going to ours, through our spawn. So watch out, bro. Watch it back there with you. You get him? No. I'm on their spawn right now. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, oh, he's taking our stuff right now. Cool. Oh, oh, he's taking A right now. Okay. Look like everybody squatted up on that. Why is his bullets? Is that like a new feature or something? Oh, the laser things? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I think it's like a it's an add-on, like a pack or something. Straight up. I'm gonna have That's to get that gun. pack, bro. That was dope. It sounds like actual laser guns and stuff. Bro, yeah, then no, no. Come on, man. Are you serious? Like, bro, honest to God. Good. What happened? That's not good. Watch that peak up there. Oh my god. Oh, is that crouching? What the heck? Purple bullet. Oh, purple man. bullet down. Let's go. That was a good little. You know what probably irks them, bro? Is like when you get inside that plane and you just shoot right through the um, like through the doors and stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> just get killed. Yeah, <laughs> they're just random because they don't know what you're at. It's so uh, so I was gonna peek that again. Drop that field mic. Uh, let me get that field mic right here. I don't even necessarily need to pull this boy out, but I'm gonna pull it out. Woo! Whoa, what, what's getting pulled out? What? <laughs> the field mic, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. You guys only got excited right there, bro. I don't know how I feel hold about on. that. Hold on, hold on. Damn! You gotta get the dual mags, bro. Dual magnums. That's what I'm trying to do. Do a magnum oh, oh set, bro. Yep, here goes the purple dude. Hey, that's his, that's his nickname, bro, purple dude. Losing bubble. Oh, I'm just gonna text him and be like, hey man, you new name of purple dude. So who the hell are you? Don't worry about it, bro. <laughs> right. Oh! Alright. Oh. Sweet. Let me I think he has different guns with his uh triple thing. Mission goals are in sight. Bring this over. Whoa! Oh, what I just died from. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. So let's go ahead and kick it right off by talking about what we need for this gun. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and grab that gunfighter for a wild card. Now, um, all the LMGs I've been running with gunfighter, um, I could try to use per grade, but in my opinion, gunfighter is what you guys are going to want to use for this build. All right, so let's go ahead and swing into the gunsmith. Now, also, I've been using the vision uh, two times 
um, with Division 2X for the scope, all right? So you guys can use whatever scopes that you guys want to use for the optics portion. I always say this, man, is personal preference, all right? So swinging over into the muzzle. I'm rolling, uh, rolling with the SOCOM Eliminator. Now, you got the muzzle flash concealment at 85%, but you also got that 17% increase to the vertical recoil control, which in my opinion, for this gun, you guys are going to definitely want to use that, all right? You could roll with the AGC suppressor, don't get me wrong, but in my opinion, the SOCOM Elim uh, Eliminator is what you guys are going to want to roll with, with, uh, with this gun, all right? So swing it over to the barrel. Right now, I'm running with the task force. Now, if you guys are looking at the pros versus the cons, we get an increase of damage, which is beneficial all the way. On top of that effective damage range, on top of the 100% bullet velocity, all right? Now, we are going to be losing some things as far as ammo, but this gun, I mean, look, it, it, it has ammo within itself. I don't really see that we are necessarily, we should worry too much about the con section, so to say, all right? So let's go ahead and uh, roll down to the body, all right? Right here, I'm just running with the Steady Aim Laser, pretty much standard. I would use some of these other ones, but I don't necessarily, for instance, right here, the SWAT, uh, what, 5MW laser sight, I don't necessarily want to lose that 8% or the aim down sight time because the gun already has a slow aim down sight. So I don't want to um, alter that anymore, so to say, all right? So swinging out to the underbear right now, standard pretty much with all the guns that I use for the most part is field agent grip. This is going to help, you know, offset some of the uh, recoil that we might be losing on some of the attachments that we're putting on. All right. So field agent grip for the underbarrel. Swinging out to magazine. Fast mag, I believe, is going to be the one that you guys are going to use. Now, you got a 25% increase to reload quickness. You're not necessarily losing anything for having this attachment. If we look at some of the other ones, we're losing 5% to the aim down sight time. Like I said, in my opinion, I'm just, I, I'm not doing anything to lose any more aim down sight time, all right? Because the gun already is very slow as far as aim down sight time. And I can tell you guys that while using the gun, the, the gun that you guys are, well, I'm sorry, the ammo that you guys come, um, that the, the gun already auto, automatically comes with, if I can get the word out, um, that's going to be enough to pretty much get the job done, all right? And then, of course, roll scavenger as far as perk two, and you'll pretty much be picking up ammo if that's what you guys want to do, all right? So swinging over to the handle. Right now, I'm using the airborne elastic wrap. Um, if you guys see, we got a 30% increase to the aim down sight time, which, like I said prior to, the gun is just naturally slow as far as aim down sight time. We want to increase that. We got a 90% uh, increase to the flitch resistance, and of course, that aim while going prone. Now, if we look, we had a shooting move speed and a sprint to fire time. I wouldn't worry about it too much. That's going to be the one you guys are going to want to roll with. All right, so Raider Pad is what we're using for the stock. We got a 30% increase to the sprint to fire time, and of course, that 40% uh, increase to the aim walking movement speed. But... The con for this situation is going to be butchering up our hip fire accuracy, all right? In my opinion, most of this is going to be long range while using this gun, all right? So this is pretty much the Stoner 63 loadout that I was able to put together. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get right into uh, the next part. So that's going to be the Stoner 63 loadout. So I really hope this video was beneficial to you guys and you guys are able to take value from this video because that's pretty much my chief aim when making these, all right? So always open for critiques, always open for different opinions as far as attachments and with the loadouts because I don't have the secret recipe, all right? So hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I definitely want to give a shout out to all the sauce fam. Appreciate you guys for leaving me comments and always giving me feedback and just showing support. If you guys are already a part of that family, make sure you guys press that sub button. Uh, you know, leave a like on this video if you guys like it and give me some feedback down in the comment section. But I'm going to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care and be safe. All right.